So we've just arrived in Athens. I'm here to undertake the third swim in a series of seven swims which I'm undertaking in the seven seas. This swim is going to be in the Aegean Sea, one of the most overfished and polluted seas in the world. Start here, go up there, swim up that way, get out, yeah. rest, have, have something to eat. Yep. Uh, and then we can, and then we're close to do the, the photography in the afternoon. Done with. Yes. I'm undertaking a series of swims in the seven seas simply for one reason and that is to highlight what's happening to the oceans and to, to urge nations around the world to set aside at least 10% of our oceans as effective marine protected areas. These are like national parks in our oceans. I think frankly if you can swim in this you ought to, you ought to do it and not take a risk otherwise we're just running out of options. Yeah, yeah. Oh, now we're cooking the Oh that's a oh. good shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's yeah. go to the little island or to this bit? Oh, to a point. Okay, so you swim Well, the skipper seems to think we can do it. So, so you're going to have to do it. How many, how many uh, swims has he escorted? I haven't a clue, but he seems to think that you can do it. So you're going to do it. The other, the other thing is, of course. If there's a good wind, you ought to be wearing my baggy swimming trunks. And then the wind will get up the back and push you along. You had to thought of that. You know, you've got to think outside the box. Good luck. Yep. Get going. Yeah. Don't turn back. I don't think there's, there's ever been a swimmer who haven't been nervous beforehand. I know you're nervous. That's yeah. why I'm telling you. As soon as you're in the water, yeah. you're fine. So just get in the water. Okay. Cheers. Good luck. Have Bye. a good swim. I can't keep up. Okay. Well, he's cheered up. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I think he's quite enjoying the swim now. He liked the orange. Thank God we got the right drink. We're over six, so I think. I think it's six or not. Yeah, just over six. So four to go. And he four kilometres. And he'll have a bit of the sea with him. It's been much rougher this morning than we expected. Uh, some quite big swells coming, so it's quite uncomfortable. Uh, I notice you're looking a bit green. Yeah. <laughs> About 18% of the world's shipping is either owned or managed by Greeks. They're the biggest ship owners in the world. And so I decided to come here to Athens. Just along the coast is the major port of Piraeus and I'm hoping to do a swim starting in Piraeus and then swimming along the coast. It's an appeal to everybody who has an influence in the oceans, be it ship owners, charterers, be it people who manufacture uh, ships, be it even people who paint the hulls of ships, to do absolutely everything that they can to protect our oceans and to ensure that the ships that we produce and sail on our oceans are as environmentally friendly as possible. Lewis, Lewis, you've got just under three to go, yes? And you can see the hotel over there, there where we're going to. So I was speaking to a resident here in Athens yesterday and he was saying that he lives on a hillside and when the rains occur, because he loves swimming in the, in, in the ocean, when the rains occur, what happens? All the litter gets slooshed off the streets, into the rivers, down into the sea. And then it's just floating on the surface and eventually then it goes down to the bottom of the sea. And he sees it every time he's swimming. So imagine if you take a problem, like littering, and you multiply it by 7 billion people, which is the population of the earth now. It becomes absolutely unsolvable. But if you take that problem and you divide it by 7 billion people and everybody, every single person on this earth takes personal responsibility for it, that problem becomes solvable. It's really that simple. Okay. How far? 800 meters. 800 meters. To yeah. yeah, it's all right. Don't waggle your finger at me. <laughs> okay, come on, finish it off.
much better one. Congratulations. Thank you. Good. You're a great pilot. Well done. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Natalie. Great swim. Yeah. Sure. I was worried in the in the beginning with the, the wind, <laughs> but it seemed to help us, eh? So it's three down. Three down. Three Four to go. Your maths. <laughs> Do you know what he said? He said three down, three to go. We got seven swims. <laughs> the general's maths. Was I think it's three down and three to go until I see my beloved wife again. Really enjoyed that swim. I mean, the first two swims in the Med and the Adriatic were, were difficult, where they were challenging for me. I had a bit of a back injury. This one, everything seemed to come together. I was worried this morning when I woke up and the wind was blowing and the flags were fluttering. I was just thinking, oh gosh. We've only got one day to do this swim, and somehow we have to fit it in because tomorrow we go to the Black Sea. Uh, but it seemed to me that the wind actually helped us. It seemed to be pushing us from behind, and uh, I really did enjoy that swim. Pew? Yeah. Enjoy it. <laughs> Don't worry about it, the wind's dropping. You got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>